right, it's the answer at right guard already on Detroit Lions roster, which is um, former Oregon offensive line. He played all across the line of Oregon last year, or two seasons ago. He was a rookie with the Lions last year, Terrell Crosby. Let's speak on if he's a good, is the right fix for the right guard position, or should Detroit Lions do um, something else? But Motor City Sports Talk's boy CJ Goodfellow back dropping that knowledge, or at least trying to, man. Uh, and let's talk about the right guard position. Obviously, T.J. Lane, he left. And uh, I believe Crosby took some snaps there last year as well. I believe they released Kenny Wiggins. Uh, yeah, but you still need depth, all right? Terrell Cosby was kind of like they were Adrian and Waddle. He was able to play multiple positions across the line. He played multiple positions with Oregon. They still need help. And and if you're not looking to make Terrell Crosby the long-term fix that right guard, then it's, pr- it's pretty much a big fiasco amongst they offensive line. It, it is. It's just it's no cohesive cohesiveness across that line or structure. I think that's better. Because Ragnall should be at center. Graham Glasgow should be at guard, left guard. All right. Taylor Decker may not be back after this year if they extend him to the fifth year, fifth year option. He on a you know prove it deal, you know, with a fourth year with the Lions, I believe. And then Rick Wagner probably not gonna be back um after this following year, whenever his contract up. Or the dead money not gonna hurt the Lions. So then again, you wanna you know have some cohesion across the line. And if you know that you want Crosby to be a future right tackle, do you really wanna put him at right guard and then swing him to tackle? And then you still most most fans feel they still feel that they should switch Ragnow and Glasgow. And then you'd be looking for a left tackle. So really much after all the work and money they spend and draft picks they put into this line, there's still no structure. You still don't know if you have your left tackle of the future. You know you don't have your right tackle of the future. At least, you know, the, the, the deep future, my immediate future, Wagner. You don't have a right guard. You got to switch your center and guard around. Like I said before, I think the proper thing to do is to find a replacement. To get a starter. You know, if you find a replacement in the draft and you say, well, him and Crosby is equal. You know what? We're going to give it to the rook. Or you go find a good veteran guard you can deal for or find on the streets that you feel that can start, I would do that. And I would prep Crosby to take the right tackle position. He's still going to be my, my contingency plan for left tackle, right tackle, right guard, left guard, and play, probably can play a little bit of center. But I'm not saying that it's a knock on him that he can't play the right guard position, but you know Rick, Rick Ragnar is not probably going to get any better. And you know Terrell Crosby is probably, you know, Ragnar older, he probably get injured, you probably going to need Crosby to start at right tackle. You know, you don't want to take your your money man, your 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 your, your replacement guy, and really stick him at right guard, and um, when he can help you in multiple plays, they need to go ahead and find a right guard in the draft. Plain and simple. And I thought that's what they may do at at number eight. I thought they might take the offensive tackle slash guard from Alabama. I can't remember his name, or talk, take the tackle from uh, from Florida as well. I always felt they was gonna do that, and I feel I can see them taking the tackle from Florida. Kicking Wagner on the inside, or kicking a tackle from Florida on the inside, then next year moving him to right tackle, and then moving uh, Terrell Crosby to right guard. I can see that. You know, real talk. I, I definitely can see that. I thought they should be players for Jawan James from Miami. He could play a little bit left tackle and, and some right tackle. Big off, uh, big athletic uh, offensive tackle out of uh, Tennessee, but he he went somewhere else in free agency. But right now, like I said, it's nothing against Crosby. I just think. It's a camaraderie thing, it's a structure thing, and I believe that um I think it's best for him just to, you know, be the contingency plan across the offensive line. They need to find uh, a guy in the draft to take that right guard position. And then next year when they fit they ready to move on from from uh, Wagner, put Crosby at right tackle or slide, slide your rookie right guard to right tackle. But I just think, you know, right now, the Lions don't have too much depth across that line, the offensive lineman. That offensive line, I think Crosby is a is a big cog to that depth. They need him for that depth, in my opinion, man. So it's my personal opinion only. I think they should should bring in a rookie. I'm not saying I'm an advocate of them drafting a, a offensive tackle at number eight or moving back and get one, but that's what Bob Quinn is about building through the trenches. And I just got a feeling they're gonna take an offensive tackle in round one and a tight end in round two. But that's just my personal opinion at this point. I'm not saying that's what I would do. What I would do don't matter to them, you know. I'm huge. I don't care about Montez. Whether his heart problem ain't like something that's that's huge, then okay. 
you know, I take, you know, the gear from, from Kentucky or, or somebody else. But it's a conversation for another day. Let me know what y'all feel about it. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. I'll be back to close out tonight with the draft spotlight real, real soon. God willing. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. And continue to share the videos if you don't know. Now you know. You can check them on the channel. Wow, good fellow sports TV. Talk a ton of things over there. Come join the family over there. I appreciate everybody for checking in. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. One time for the one time we gone.